This video is on anti-malarial drug classification. Anti-malarial drugs are classified on the basis of the first is on chemical structure and second is on clinical stage. So first on chemical structure, there is 12 class. There is 12 class. First is the 4 amino quinoline, second quinoline methanol, third cinchona alkaloid, biguanide, diamino pyrimidine, sixth is the 8 amino quinoline, seventh is the sulfonamide and sulfon. 8 is the antibiotics, 9th is the naphthyridine, 10th is the naphthoquinoline, 11th is the amino alcohol, and 12th is the sesquiterpene derivatives. Yes, there is 12 class on the basis of the chemical structure of the anti-malarial drug. So, how to remember the 12 class and the drug? We have a mnemonics, malarian acquired bad smell nights. In the malarian, there is a 3 a alphabet so first alphabet a stands for 4 amino quinoline next a is 8 amino quinoline a is the antibiotics so and next and malarian in n stands for naphthyridine in acquired c stands for cinchona alkaloid q stands for quinoline methanol and acquired bad b stands for biguanid a stands for amino alcohol D stands for diamino pyrimidine. S is the sulfonamide and sulfon. And NIDES, N stands for naphthoquinoline. S stands for sesquiterpene derivatives. And so there is 12 class on the basis of the chemical structure. And this is the way to remember the 12 class. Malarian acquired by additional NIDES. On first class, 4 amino quinoline, we have a 3 drug. So to remember the 3 drug, we have a mnemonics or cap, where C is chloroquine. A is hemodioquine and P is piperacuine. And in the next class, we have 8 amino quinoline. In the 8 amino quinoline, we have a two drug, primaquine and tefnoquine. So, to remember primaquine and tefnoquine, we have a mnemonics F P I G P T. We have in the 8, we have to include P also. P at a silent F T. F P T. Where P stands for primaquine and T stands for tefnoquine and A stands for 8 amino quinoline. Third is the antibiotics. To remember, antibiotics at DOC. At dog. So, in antibiotics, we have three drugs that is doxycycline, clindamycin, and tetracycline. T stands for tetracycline, and DO doxycycline C is clindamycin. So, there are three. Next is the naphthyridine. Naphthyridine P Y R I D. P Y pyronaridine. That is reading and reading. Pyronaridine. Naphthyridine. In the class naphthyridine, we have pyronaridine drug. Next is the amino alcohol. So to remember amino alcohol, we have a HAL. H A A L HAL. We have example halofentrine, lumefentrine. That is amino alcohol. Halofentrine and lumefentrine. H stands for halofentrine and L stands for lumefentrine. Six is the cinchona alkaloid. In the cinchona alkaloid, cinchona alkaloid, we have a quinine and quinidine. Quinine and quinine is obtained from the bark of the cinchona alkaloid plants so next is the quinoline methanol in quinoline methanol qm just we reverse it m q that is mefloquine yes is the biguanide biguanide is a proguanil example is the proguanil 9 is the diamino pyrimidine class is diamino pyrimidine and we have example pyrimethamine pyrimethamine pyrimidine and pyrimethamine 10th is the sulfonamide and sulfon. In the class, we have sulfodoxin, sulfomethopyridine, dapson, three drugs. And the 11th is the nap naphthoquinoline, that is, etovac drug name is etovacquin. And 12th is the sesquiterpene derivative. We have a mnemonic cisart, where cisart art stands for artisunate, artimether, artiether, and eterolone. And based on the affected plasmodium state, we have a four class. That is tissue cytosides, erythrocytic cytosides, exo erythrocytic tissue cytosides, and fourth is the gametocytes. So, first is the tissue cytosides. It is used for causal prophylaxis. Causal prophylaxis means it does it do not target only the blood stream malaria, but also the initial liver stage as well. This means that the user can stop taking the drug seven days after leaving the area of the risk. So, in this drug, uh, there is etovacuin, primaquin, pyrimethamine, tetracycline. So to remember, we have to remember all properties, all properties. O stands for etovacuin, P stands for primaquin, 
नेक्स्ट पी स्टैंड फॉर पायरीमिथम एंड टी टेट्रासाइकिल प्रोपर्टीज एंड यस स्टैंड फॉर टीस्यू साइजेंटोसाइड्स एंड द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी हैव एरिथ्रोसाइटिक टीस्यू साइजेंटोसाइड एरिथ्रोसाइटिक टीस्यू साइजेंटोसाइड्स आर यूज्ड फॉर सप्रेसिव प्रोफाइलैक्सिस दिस मींस दैट दे आर ओनली इफेक्टिव एट किलिंग द मलेरियल पैरासाइट वंस इट इंटर इनटू द ब्लड स्टेज ऑफ इट्स लाइफ साइकिल दैट इज एरिथ्रोसाइटिक स्टेज इफ दे आर इनपुट दे आर इफेक्टिव इन द एरिथ्रोसाइटिक स्टेज ऑफ द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ मलेरिया सो इट हैज टू सब क्लास हाई एफिकेसी एंड लेस एफिकेसी मींस टू ग्रुप्स two groups of drug in high efficacy is the cytic tissue cytosine we have to remember quickly quick and we have to also mention h quickly meme art well q quickly means high efficacy that is it is a quick response okay and where c stands for chloroquine quickly l stands for lamofentine and h stands for halofentine halofentrin and meme meme means uh, mefloquin and another m e stands for mefacrine and r t is RT missing derivatives quickly meme art and the less efficacy is the cytic tissue cytosine we have let's stop let's stop that is we have to just pronounce less stop less means less efficacy and s yes, stands for sulfomethoxazole and t tetracycline and third is the exo erythrocytic tissue cytosine it is a, it is used for the radial cure exo erythrocytic tissue exo erythrocytic tissue cytosine we have a primokin drug and the fourth is the gametocidal to remember the gametocidal we have a mnemonic proper quality product gam pro proguanil p stands for proguanil p another p stands for pyrimethamine q stands for quin and another p stands for primaquin and c is chloroquine and a is the rt missing derivative ga a is rt missing derivative so we have to remember proper quality products game so this is all about the anti malarial drug thank you